to be seated on a sofa. You know you're the first pig to sit on a sofa. Really? Yes, it you are. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you carrying? Uh, I'm carrying a map. A map? Yeah. What's a map? A map is something that uh, it's used for direction. When you want to go to a place, you use a map. Where are you going? My, my ma, my family and I are thinking of relocating to a new place. Of moving to a new place, yeah. why? We don't like the other place. It doesn't rain as much. Mm -hmm. So there's no... There's no mud. There's no mud, mm. oh no. How does it feel to leave your friends? I don't know, my friends, my friends think I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> they think you're mad because you're moving because of mud? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. But... Because you have the map, you'll be able to reach there well, right? Yay! You know, there's someone in the Bible who was directed by God, not a map. Who? Do you know him? No. His name is Abraham. Ab Abraham! Mm -hmm. I know Abraham. Let me hold your map for you. You know Thank Abraham. You. Yeah. What do you remember about him? Um, he was he was told by God mm -hmm. that he was going to have many children. Oh, yeah, he was told by God he was going to have many children. But this week we're going to be talking about how he was he had to move to a place where he had no idea where it was. Mm -hmm. So what did he have to do? He had to trust God that God was going to show him the right way and they were going to reach their well. Can you imagine what God told him? As he just I'll guide you to where you're going, but you have no map where you're going. You don't know where you're going. You don't know the place. And you know what he did? No. Did he, he go? He went. Guess who he took? He took, he took his wife and his nephew called Lot and mm -hmm. all his servants and all his animals. What would you take if you were going away to a far place? Mm, I would take my my toys uh -huh. and my siblings and my mom. Mm -hmm. And you know, how would you feel if your if your if Mama Pig and Baba Pig told you that we are moving tomorrow and you you're used to your friends and you're used to the place where you live, you're used to the mud that's there. How would that feel? I would cry and then I'd go and say bye to my friends. Mm. They must have felt really bad to be moving to a whole new place that they didn't know anyone, they had no friends, and it must be really hard to have left their friends and their home. But you know what they did? They mm -hmm. trusted God. What do you trust God for, Piggy? I trust that God will provide for my family and that schools will open so that I can go and learn and play with my friends. Mm -hmm. you, you also trust God to take care of you through the night. Mm -hmm. You trust God to take care of your parents when they go to work. And those are things that you trust God. What about things that you trust your parents for or your teachers? You like you trust your teachers that they'll teach you the right thing mm -hmm. and you trust that your parents that they'll take care of you, that they'll drive you to town safely and anywhere that you need to go, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So when we trust in God, he always takes care of us, just like our parents and our teachers take care of us. So this week's lesson, we're supposed to trust in God, trust that he can take care of us and protect us. And in everything, if you're scared at night or if you're scared about whether you're going to go back to school soon, just know that all you have to do is trust in God, okay? Mm -hmm. So we need you to tell everyone that they trust in God. In the morning when you wake up, we want you to pray with your parents when they go to work that God will take care of them. And you who stays at home, you need to trust that they're going to be okay. Okay, Piggy? Yay! Mm -hmm. Now we want to hear our memory verse from Jaina. Proverbs pro chapter 3 verse 5 and it says, Trust God with all your heart. Bye! So Piggy is going to say the prayer and you're going to repeat it and you're going to do say what he says and do what I do. 
Say, dear God. Dear God. Help me to trust in you. Help me to trust in you. In everything I do. In everything I do. Keep my heart always true. Keep my heart always true. So that I might trust in you. So that I might trust in you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yay. See you next week.